Hi guys, I'm Alexandra Devine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. So today, this is my most requested video so far and that is to review JJ's house. So I'm absolutely, was more than happy to answer those requests. I went on to JJ's house, had a little bit of a look around, found a few bits that I really liked the look of, some bits that I still needed to get for my wedding and I had seen quite a few positive reviews um, of other brides being like really happy with the bits that they got from JJ's house. So yeah, everything seemed all good. I was happy to kind of um, jump on and do this. However, <laughs> um, obviously I can only really talk about my personal experience and that's why you guys have clicked on this video because you wanna see what the experience I've had with JJ's house. Now, I, I will kind of just start by straight up saying it has been a really bad experience and it is currently still an ongoing situation. I've had to escalate things to PayPal. I will come to the after sales, like at the end of the video. Like I said, I've seen that there has been a few brides who've actually been really pleased with the things that they've got from JJ's house. I have now since as well seen a lot of comments and people having the same problems that I'm having. So yeah, maybe it's a little bit of a lottery as to what kind of um, product and service you're gonna get if you order from them. But obviously today I'm just gonna tell you guys all about my own personal experience. So on my channel so far, I have reviewed quite a few of the more budget friendly kind of wedding options. So ASOS, Monsoon, Boohoo. Even though some of the things haven't been quite to my taste, I've never really had like a negative experience with any of the brands. You know, if I, I ordered some things and I liked them, some things I didn't like, some of the wrong size, I sent them back, got a refund, no problem. If you like the video today and find it informative, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And also I would really love to hear from you guys in the comments about this one. Um, let me know all, if you've bought anything from JJ's house, I'd love to know good or bad, what experiences you've had. So I really just don't wanna seem that this video is just like totally, totally negative. So I'm gonna start with a positive um, and answer a question that maybe some of you might have had. And that is kind of how genuine the products are. So for instance, there are some websites kind of take designers pictures of like 5,000 pound dresses and they kind of put it on their website and they say that, you know, they can sell it to you for like 97 pounds and then you order it, it comes and it's absolutely nothing like the picture. I think maybe all of us have seen those articles of those kind of websites. Um, so one positive thing about JJ's house is that it is not that kind of site. So what you see in the picture it is one of their own products and it took approximately two weeks to arrive i thought that was absolutely fine time scale wise that didn't kind of bother me at all having to wait two weeks the delivery charge for this order was 36 pounds that is the biggest delivery charge i've ever paid i paid on paypal the company comes up as like read mob limited something like that and then in brackets it says hk which makes me think hong kong when i was speaking to somebody on the live chat on their website that came up as fei in shanghai i mean it's very elusive as to where it is fully fully based my assumption is that it is somewhere in china um that is why obviously the shipping costs so much and obviously the, when the box comes it says global shipping as well so first thing that I saw when I opened the box, this was the first thing that I pulled out and that were the shoes. So these are promoted as wedding shoes. Now I already do have my wedding shoes. So I bought them as my Hindu shoes because I was in the market for something to wear on my Hindu. And I really, really liked the look of these ones on the website. So this is how they come. They don't come in a box, it is just this bag. I picked these up for 25 pounds because I knew that JJ's house was an international website and that the, the returns may be a little bit sketchy I decided that I was gonna really check the size guide now I am a size 5 in shoe a size UK 5 is normally an EU 38 on their size guide they have a UK size 5 showing as a size 36 so there was a couple of little alarm bells going off but they weren't even advertising these like 36, 37, 38, 39. They didn't say that was an EU size. It just said size. 
but I was a bit like, oh, I'm a bit unsure here. So I literally got out a tape measure and for the first time in my entire life, I actually measured my foot. My foot was showing as nine inches. It was the UK five, the 36, that was showing at nine inches, 29 or 39, I think it was. So I was like, okay, that'll give me a little bit of room. So I literally went off the measurement of my foot that I took which married up to their size guide as a UK five, I ordered the 36. Turns out that their size guide is completely and utterly wrong. So I think it was about the day after I ordered them, I saw somebody else in a Facebook group advertising their JJ's house shoes for sale because they'd come and they were too small. And I saw that post and it was the day after I ordered it, obviously before mine arrived. And I was like, oh my God, I really hope that that's not gonna be the case for me. Really, really disappointed with this. It was just way too small. So let me just get it out to show you firstly. But I liked the, the heel height. I thought that was, you know, not too high. Um, and I quite liked the design. I'm gonna try and do this without flashing you guys. But as you can see, this shoe does not fit quality wise. Even if this shoe had a fit, I would have wanted to have sent this back anyway because I don't know if you let me come close to the camera I don't know if you'll be able to see it but where the pearls are stuck on with the glue you can see where the glue has turned yellow I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up on the camera but again the actual heel part of the shoe this is like a brilliant white color and then it, this part of the shoe here is a completely different color it's like a really just not a nice finish. The next thing that I picked up was this little lingerie 90 style piece. This is advertised as one size fits all and wow I mean that's that's how wide it stretches okay so I'm a size 8 and this fit me. Maybe if you're a size 10 you'd get into this as well so this is going to fit a size 8 and a 10. I wouldn't class that as one size fits all um, because if you're a size 12 and above this is not going to fit. This, to be honest with you, it's actually not terrible quality. Um, it does look a little bit different, I feel, than what it did on the website. I didn't like this piece on me. I, I don't think it suited me, but you know, that is that part of it is just personal preference. This was 11 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna move into a little bit of positivity now, guys, okay? I think we need some, I think we need some at this point. <laughs> Now, I the one saving grace of this entire haul was the bridesmaid's dress. I actually really liked the bridesmaid's dress. It's a chiffon. I love the design of it, love the back detail. The quality is actually nice. It's a good length. I'm five foot eight and it wasn't too short. It was probably just a really good length for me. It does have padding in the cups, which is great. I picked this up for £38. And again, I think that's a really fair price. However, sizing. So in my normal everyday clothes, I'm a size eight. Now again, same as the shoes, I thought, oh God, I'm gonna measure myself here. Now, when I did the measurements on their size guide, I was coming out as a size 10. Now, for the wedding dress that I will obviously show afterwards, I went with a size guide and I ordered it in the 10. Now, for this dress, I thought I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna order the eight. Now, according to their size guide, the eight should have been way too small for me. There's absolutely zero stretch in this waist, but it did actually fit me perfectly. Again, I would say the size guide is wrong because it was telling me to go up a size. I, I did take a little risk by ordering the eight, but that did pay off. This was one thing that I actually wasn't trying to return. I was trying to return the other things, but this is one thing that I wasn't trying to return. I was going to keep this. Had the whole after sales thing that I'm going through, which I said, like, I will come on to you later. Had that have been a good experience, then the whole tone of this video would have been completely different. And I would have been here raving, telling everybody to go out and check, check out their bridesmaids dresses. But because I'm having such trouble trying to return these items and trying to get a refund, I'm still gonna really struggle to recommend, you know, shopping at JJ's house. If you kind of order some dresses and the sizes aren't right, or you just don't like the quality, 
if you're trying to return them, it's just really difficult to try and do that. I would probably still sit here and recommend trying the UK based websites first, like ASOS, Boohoo, Dorothy Perkins, Misguided, where the prices and the quality are basically the same as this but you don't have any of the hassle. You can order as many different sizes as you want and if they don't fit or you don't like them, you can just send them back and you know you're going to get your money back without any issues. The next thing that I picked up was a wedding dress. So again, same with the shoes. I already do actually have my actual wedding dress, but I'm in the market for a second wedding dress that I'm gonna change into for like the party. This dress was £233. So it's kind of in the same kind of realms as the other low budget brands that I have reviewed on this channel. I will link those videos if you guys do want to check those out. This is how the dress is coming packaged. It is just coming in one of these bags. So one thing to know about JJ's house is that they really are quite open about the fact that they don't really want you to return things. They do have a returns policy that says that you can return things for a refund. So for instance, the things that I wanted to return, I absolutely should have been able to for a refund. However, it does say on the website that what they don't want people to do is order, for instance, five different wedding dresses that they like the look of with the intention of keeping one and sending four back. It literally says on their website that if they suspect you of doing that, they may cancel your order. So with that in mind, I only picked one dress to try rather than kind of maybe trying a few and picking one. I went for the one that I really liked the look of most and that was this dress here. Now, the style of this dress, I actually really like the style. It's very... It gives me very like Martina Liana essence of Australia vibes in terms of its like design itself. So I, I really liked that about it. I did really like the sheer effect here. I've mentioned this on the Bridesmaids one. So I went off their actual size guide with this and I ordered the size 10. And as you probably have seen in the try on clip by now, hopefully, this is way too big for me. Quality. The material is very scratchy. So I'm not somebody who's really like affected by materials that much. But my first kind of reaction when I put this on was, oh, this is itching. Like, it was itching, like, so badly. Like, <laughs> And it's because it's a really cheaper material. But obviously, at the end of the day, it is a cheap dress. I don't think anybody really is expecting, you know, the finest Italian lace or, you know, the most beautiful satin or whatever it is. Um, you know, the quality, it's not the best, but, you know, it, it is a cheap it is a cheaper dress. Finish of this dress isn't great either. There's a lot of kind of loose threads, loose like where the sequins are just come off because it's kind of not been, you know, sewn particularly well. Now we come to my after sales experience. On their website, it states that they accept returns. Firstly, they accept returns. And if what they have sent you is damaged or not as described, that they will pay the return postage. Firstly, those shoes. Gosh, well, I couldn't even get them on because their size guide was so wrong and they were damaged. Like that glue on the pearls, like that shouldn't be there. That is not how it's shown in the pictures. That is damaged. So they have a returns portal on their website where you can go on, you can say which items that you want to return, what the reason is, and then they ask you to upload a picture. I basically couldn't upload pictures. For some reason, it just was not accepting pictures at all on their website. I tried a few different devices and it just wouldn't accept the pictures. And because I couldn't get the pictures on, it wouldn't let me proceed. I went onto PayPal and I just contacted them via PayPal. This was not like an escalation at this point. This was just contacting them. Um, I explained that the returns portal wasn't working on their website, but I'd like to return three of the five items and kind of gave the description of what each item was, why I wanted to return it, and could they please send me the prepaid label? I didn't hear anything back. So I went onto their website and they have a live chat. So I went onto the live chat and that's where I spoke to Faye and she was actually really, really helpful. She started like a, an internal ticket for me. She said, I forwarded this on and somebody from the after sales department would contact me. Somebody did reply initially. They came back to me and said, yes, we can accept your return. They gave me a few options. They said that I could 
post the things back at my own expense and they would refund them or I could keep the items and they would give me a 50% credit to spend at JJ's house or I could have a 40% refund keep the items but actually have 40% of that like refunded back in money. It kind of puts you in a bit of a catch-22 position because obviously the delivery cost £36. So I don't want to have to pay like an equivalent amount or whatever it will be to ship it back. And really I shouldn't have to pay to send it back because the things are clearly not as described. I literally sent them pictures of their size guide of a picture of my foot next to a tape measure showing them that their size guide was just completely utterly totally wrong i sent them the pictures of the damaged pearls there's no reason that they shouldn't have sent me the prepaid label like it says that they will do on their website i wasn't too keen with their option of me keeping the items but receiving either a 50 percent credit or a 40 percent refund because for instance like going back to the shoes again what am i going to do with a pair of shoes that are too small like i physically cannot wear them i spoke to my partner about it and basically we decided that the most kind of cost effective option would be to accept the 40 percent refund and keep the items because then i could for instance like sell the shoes to someone with who's like a smaller foot or you know whatever and get the other money back that way rather than have to pay to send them back and then that kind of that costs a lot obviously cost a lot more money on top of the expensive delivery charge. I messaged them back and I said right okay I'll accept the 40% refund and I'll keep the items and they replied back to me and they said okay you'll get a refund within 24 hours if you paid on PayPal you'll see it immediately. If you paid via like a credit card, it'll take up to 30 days. So I paid via PayPal. I've used PayPal for years and years and years. So like what they said as well, and like what I already knew, I know that once you get issued a refund on PayPal, it shows on your account immediately. It might still take five to seven days to come into your actual bank, but it shows on your PayPal the second that they do the refund. 24 hours came and it went and there was no refund. I thought, okay, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt here and I'm gonna give them another day or so. So I think it was about 72 hours at this point, three days after they initially told me it was gonna be 24 hours, still zero refund. I emailed them on the same like ticket number email that I'd been using and said, hiya, you know, I was told it was gonna to take 24 hours for this refund to come through. What's going on, please? no reply another day or so went by zero reply zero refund so i messaged them again i said hello you know i still not received a refund and you've not replied to my emails please what's going on no reply no refund literally nothing um i then went on to their facebook page and I messaged the Facebook page and I said, basically told them that situation. They replied back to me. They were like, okay, um, you'll get a refund within 24 hours. And I kind of replied to them on the Facebook page and I said, okay, so I've already been told that once. Is it actually going to come now within 24 hours? And they were like, yeah, yeah, it'll come within 24 hours. Another 24 hours went by, no refund. And I thought, I'm not going to give you any benefit of the doubt. So it was literally 24 hours after she had told me that on the Facebook page, I went straight back on and I was like, hello. Um, twice now I have been told that I'm going to get this refund within 24 hours. It's not happening. They still haven't replied to my emails on the ticket from days ago. I've sent many emails, absolutely zero replies. What's going on, please? And she came back and said, I've sent an email to the after sales team saying that this is like completely urgent. They will email you and refund you nothing still nothing the after sales team has not messaged back to any of my emails once it, they have not replied to me even though she was marking saying that it was like urgent to contact me i've had nothing from them i replied again and i said look i've still not got a refund they still haven't emailed me please can you just refund me now and she was like well i can't refund you now because i'm just the sales team rather than the after sales team so i don't have the power to do that um 
but she said I've looked on your account and your refund was started on the 19th of March and you have to allow 30 days and I was like but that's not true because if they'd have done that on the 19th of March it would have come immediately showing on my PayPal like I know it would because I've used PayPal for years but also like they said it would do if I paid on PayPal so her telling me that the refund was processed on the 19th of March was just a lie like it was just a lie <sighs> Got a bit riled up there. I think I need to have a little gin after this. <laughs> um, yeah, so sorry I got a little bit riled up there, but yeah, it's it's frustrating. So um, I basically, after she just basically lied to me about that, I just said to her, you know what, that's not true. Um, that's not how PayPal works. You even said it yourself. You know that we know that's not how PayPal works. And I just basically said I'm escalating this to PayPal and just kind of left it there. And I did. I've escalated it to PayPal. You know, fingers crossed, PayPal are going to side with me because. I obviously have all the, the proof, I have the evidence. The expected date for PayPal to decide kind of what's going on is April 10th. So I will let you know down in the comments what happens. We're moving on, we're moving in positive directions. I do have positive videos coming next week, but hopefully this was informative and I really hope that this has helped somebody who was maybe thinking about ordering from JJ's house and just showing what could happen even though like I said to be fair I know that there are some rides that have been really happy with the items that they have got. If you did like today's video or found it informative um, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys!